I recently embarked upon making the largest painting that I've ever made. After doing a quick outline, I start to put in a black and white layer. The black and white layer for me is really going to be a blueprint that's going to show me where I'm able to put in colors in my next layer. While I am trying to do the best work that I can in each individual piece, each of my paintings is building towards something. I'm working on and expanding my skill set that I'm going to be using in future paintings. In the future, I would like to hire models and take my own reference photos, but I really don't have any photography skills. Because of that, I really wanted to have a low risk photo shoot with someone that I was comfortable with and who was comfortable with me. And so I bought a costume and I actually ended up taking my own reference photos for the very first time. I have to, I have to take my cousin, my little cousin out. I'm gonna take her um, for like a photo shoot. I got this really mm -hmm. cute dress, I'll show you. Podcast listeners can't see it, but I bought this really cute dress and hat. Um, oh, for, yeah. She's like, she's like seven, so she'll. Mm -hmm. uh, but it'll be. But then I'll have. Uh, then I'll have photos to to make into paintings. I ended up taking her to a park at the top of one of the local mountains, and we walked around and took twelve hundred photos. And at one point, I told her to turn around and pretend that there was a cougar behind her. And it totally wasn't something that I was thinking that I was going to be painting, but the shot that I got and the pose and the lighting and everything was too good to pass up. With the background, I really wanted to keep it more loose and impressionistic. I just wanted to capture the effect of light on all of the leaves instead of painting each individual leaf and each individual tree. I thought that I could just make the paint look like everything was there without actually having to put in all the details. I really think that's most likely going to be the style that I will paint in for the foreseeable future is keeping the background really loose, but then I want the figures in my paintings to be a lot tighter, or at least the points of focus, I should say, to be a lot tighter. And for me, capturing the essence of this girl spinning around to see what's behind her was really the focal point of this painting. With the way that I'm currently painting, doing an underpainting first, it really gives me a good blueprint to know where I'm going to go and put the colors on top of. There's a style of painting called window shading, and that's where you take a specific part and bring it up to its final completion before moving on to another part. And honestly, I have no idea how people paint like that. Like that seems so crazy to me. That seems insane. That seems like some sort of magic to me. I cannot do that. I need to, just the way that my brain works, which is probably a little weird anyways, I need to have a blueprint so I know where I'm going over top of. And I think for me at least, it makes it so that I'm really able to look into my reference photo and I'm able to see things that I normally wouldn't have saw before. When I was painting this dress, I knew it was going to be very neutral tones of gray because it was an off-white dress, but it was in shadow. Most of it was in shadow, at least, so the highlights were going to be very white, but the shadows should just be a darker variant of that. But the funny thing is that light reflects off of things. So the surrounding areas will change what a potentially neutral color might look like. And because we were surrounded by so much green, once I started to look into the reference photo, I noticed that on the right shadow side that there was actually quite a bit of blues and greens being reflected back into the dress. And I don't know if I would have caught that if I was window shading. I think that the way that I built up this painting really allowed me to see that. It wasn't happening on the left highlight side so much because the colors were getting desaturated by just how bright the sunlight was. But on the shadow side, I was definitely surprised just how much color was actually in it. Even though I was quite happy with where this painting was at, I knew that part of progressing is staying in the painting for as long as you can. And that might mean taking a really long time at the end to do minor changes that probably 99% of people are never going to notice, but you are going to notice. And like I said, I'm trying to build my skill set so that I can make the paintings in the future that I want to make. 
So taking a little bit of extra time right now is super important for me. It's important for me to stay in this last stage for as long as I can and to really hone everything. Not to the point where I'm going to muddy up my colors and wreck everything, but it needs to be at a point where I'm making sure that everything is the correct proportions, that everything is the correct values, that I'm leaving some good brush marks in there. I ended up making some final little tweaks to the cougar that was hiding in the bush. And then it was pretty much done. I just had to paint up the edges. And then all that was left to do was just to wait. I have to wait a whole week for the colors to dry and to set up so that I can come over top with a final varnish coat of Gamvar. Varnishing a painting is a very rewarding part of the process. There's a term called sinking in, and that's when some of the colors will go a little bit flat, but when you come over top with a clear coat, it just brings everything back to life. The darks go darker, and the colors just really pop. Overall, I'm just so incredibly happy and proud of this one from the photo shoot to creating the actual painting. I just think everything went really well and I'm super excited to dig into a couple more of the photos that I took on that photo shoot and really to put all the skills and all the experience that I've learned from doing this painting and put it towards future projects.